get into it yeah let's start with this tutorial so first thing is to set my design page i'm going to start i'll go to image size and i set it up so i'm going to put the width let's say 21 and the height we're going to do 30 so that's what we're going to be working with so i'm gonna start by deleting this next let's start working on our background i'm going to start importing the things that i need for my background i need this i'm going to import this I'm going to make sure i cover this top part of my screen like this okay then i go to my background let me see i give my background like a white color that's what i have all right so next thing i need a shape a square and uh, import it and i can give this square color green okay so this is the green that we're going to be using i'll drop uh, the color code in the description so but this is the color code right here you can just copy it if you want this is the color code for the green color but also try to keep it in the description and i'm going to enlarge it oh i made a mistake to touch that so let me centralize this sorry, the top like that and then i make sure i lock it up because you can see we're having issues now so this one I'm going to make you to be this big. Then I'll go to my opacity and I reduce it just a little bit, something like that. Let's say so 96 is probably okay. But that's what we have. So next we need uh, a circle. So we're gonna get a shape. Circle. Since it's white, let me change my background color to probably something else just for now. Yeah, let me just put something else on my background just for now, okay? So let's work with this one. So since my, my circle is white, or let me say my background should be black for the meantime. Hmm, that's too much. I need something that is not too... Oh, okay. So for now, let's use this. So I need a white circle. So that I'm going to put here, and I'll centralize it like this. So I'm working with this button here. Just make sure it's in the middle. Then I'm going to import my first meal, which is going to be the rice, the jollof rice. And I'm going to crop it circularly like this. And I'll make sure the cropping ratio is one inch to one. So I can crop it like this. So I want to crop it somehow like this. Make sure I get a good crop. Then I click on OK. So I have that. All right, so I'm going to work on the size of this i'm going to give this a stroke of 16. oh sorry stroke go to stroke activate use the same green push it up to like 16. yeah we have that and then i'm going to centralize this using my relative position but i'll be working on just one here like that then i push it up my position button it is basically i need something like this now i'm going to highlight the circle so let me correct the shape for this one the shape for this meal the width because you can also control the width and the height of your circle or it shapes everything so i'm going to disable this right and i'm going to make the width to be 55 and then the height should be 38 like that and that's what i want and i'm just gonna put it like that in the middle same thing goes to and one thing you can do to make it easy, centralize both of them like this so that they, they fit properly. And then you can highlight the circle. I'm going to highlight the circle and add a little something. And then I centralize it to get what I want. So I'm going to keep adding one, two, centralize. Okay, that's much better. Now I can merge these two. I'm just going to merge these two to avoid issues. Yeah. Yeah, I got something better. So I'll merge these two. So they're now one shape here. So this is what I got. All right, let's keep that. Let's keep that. All right, so let's get my background. And we can go back in my background white color. But I just wanted you guys to see that properly. Okay, so that's what we have right now. So next thing that we need here to take in this, uh, I'm going to bring in the small plate. So I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do for I'm going to do it for one. And you guys, I'm going to be fast with the other. So. I'm going to import the smaller place before I do that so that you for the fact that you guys should have a good view of what I want to do let me change my background color to something else so something like this all right so let's go to 
first we import a shape yeah we're going to import a shape get a circle type it in pick any size that we want and and then we centralize it like that next i am going to import one of the mills that's supposed that's supposed to be there oh then i'm going to crop it in a circular form like this and i click on ok so that's what i'm going to get now i'm going to reduce the size of this and i'm also going to centralize the circle and also centralize the plate now this is to i'm trying to make sure that i have a certain style that i want for this particular thing centralize the border is still big i'm trying to form a border using that circle okay centralize and i'm going to do this with the other one so i'll just do it once here and then rapidly do it for the others so okay this is what we have so you can now see the border and the circle so i'm going to merge these two okay so this is what we have now i'm going to merge this what we have right so i'm going to now give this a stroke on the green and the stroke is going to be five okay so this is this is it so i'm going i'm just going to keep this here and go to my image i'll go to size sorry and the size for this i'm going to make the width to be 21 21 and the height 14 so this is perfect 21 14 is perfect all right so i'm going to repeat this for the other three plates so i'm just going to try to do it very very fast in order to avoid the video to be so long All right, guys, so I'm done with arranging the little tricks on the small plate. So I make sure all of them, their size is at 21, 14, the width 21, height 14, all of them, all four of them. So that's what I, that's what I did, all right? So cool. Now I'm just going to put my background back to white. Just get it back to white. So that's what we're working with. All right. So now I'm just going to be put, I'll position them properly. I'll try to put them properly. And then I'll use my uh, position button remove them all right so that's what we got so i'm going to shift this top a little bit okay so that's what we have so use your position button and arrange these guys properly to make them fit so i made a logo for this i just made a little logo Oh, this is not it i made a logo this is it right here see i did this logo i just downloaded a pic and, and, and did this logo so i'm just gonna import it crop it I'm just gonna crop it the best that i can so i'm just gonna import my logo at the top here like this okay so i'm gonna give my logo a white color all right so that's that's what i got All right, next, we need to add this. I did download some brushes that I used, so I'm going to import those brush before I get to it. So the design is pretty easy. We're almost done, like literally. So yeah, I downloaded this brush. So I used this last one. I used this last one. I'll leave this in the description as well. Okay, I use this last one. This is the one I use. I need to crop this part. Yeah. Yeah, I use this one. Give this green color. Rotate it a little bit like this. And just place it here. Yeah, this one this guy is here that's the position and the same i'm just going to put the same here this one here slant it a little bit and then give it a white color 
so I just copied I just copied it so it's not a big deal okay so what else is, is lacking probably to put the text but well, before we go I need a shape so there's a shape I need a square that I'm going to make green like this and the green is going to be down here okay yeah it's going to be here like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock that because I don't want no issues I'm going to lock that to the next thing I need another one let me just change the color by importing so that you'll be able to see the green at the when you look at the elements you see green but this is the first green this last one I just imported it's not green because I imported white and changed it to green so the shape is white change to green but when you change the color before you import it you're going to see the color among your elements the color that you choose so it's always good to always edit your element before you import it this is quite good always very good so we have this this guy here to write our text so basically the design is almost done we don't have much to do just to import the text so you guys are going to have to excuse me so i'm going to be very fast to do that because i think writing text and importing icons to write is not a big deal for anyone that has been watching my video so i will just get back to you guys so I'll use order now so let's write the fonts i'll be using order now the first font i used here just put in text here so the first the fonts i'll be using here it's monster out from monster out black okay it's what i'll be using and it's going to be in green let's put our text let's just put our text real quick now i'm going to go back to edit the text i'll break it down and then i go to align and i take center alignment then i give it a green color sorry a white yeah green color is cool i'll just work on the size and place it there properly so reduce the size make sure it fits there we got our order now we have our order now all right so th this same font i'm going to use to write here our meals so i'll just copy it for our menu i should probably say our menu yeah let me say menu let me say menu sounds dope so the color for this one is going to be white so this is basically a design with two colors okay green and white there is no no black no nothing just green and white so the entire design so our menu is down there cool so let me let me uh, use the relative position to make sure these guys in the middle both of them use that cool all right now we also have little text here that i'm gonna add said order and get free home delivery order get free home delivery so the font for this is monster out semi bold okay monster out semi bold italics this font right here So I'm going to give this a white color. Reduce the size and place it where it's supposed to be. I'll also go to my align. This is it right here. And I take center alignment. So now I just need to work on the size. I have to rotate this a little bit I like it rotated like this yeah that's pretty dope so you work on your size and set it up all right cool so now we need to just list our menu so let me get to it i'll do that really fast and the fonts that i'll be using to do that is this font right here called monster out medium so i use the monster out font for everything like the entire design Okay, so let me just leave the menu very fast. All 
all right so that is done that is inserted so i'm just going to copy this i need to add something here a mirror you will never forget so i'm going to select all of this wipe a meal you will never forget it's kind of like a little a little slang under my logo so this is a pretty i'm going to give it uh, a white color oh now reduce the size of this I'll reduce the size of this so it gets like almost the same size as my logo. Yeah. Enlarge my logo a little bit. All right, so there we go, there we go. We're done now, we just need the icons. Now we just need the icons and the text we're in for. We just need the icons down here and the necessary information beside the various icons. So that's it, and the design is set. Yeah, all right, guys, so this is it. We're done with it. So this is it. I've, I've just, I've done the icons. All right, guys, so this is the same design. All I did was change all the greens to orange. And this is a mock-up I did on smartmockup.com. And this is another mock-up. So that's all for the video, guys. Thanks for watching.